Hello my dear students, in this lecture we will see one more numerical to find maximum shear stress. The question is, 2D stress at a point is given by the matrix, the matrix is given sigma is equal to 100, 30, 30, 20 MPA, then maximum shear stress in the MPA is. See this is a very simple question, this is a very simple question. If you see 2D stress tensor, 2D stress tensor, it is written in the matrix form, which is nothing but sigma xx tau xy tau yx and sigma yy. And where we already know that tau xy is always equal to tau yx, you can see in the matrix. We have to equate this matrix with the given matrix, with the given matrix, which is nothing but 100, 30, 30, 20 in MPA. Therefore, from here, can I write sigma xx is equal to 100 MPA, 100 MPA. Again, tau xy is nothing but tau yx is nothing but equal to 30 MPA. And sigma yy, sigma yy is equal to 20 MPA. We can say like this, right. Now, what is maximum shear stress? For 2D loading, the maximum shear stress is nothing but under root of, under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy square which is nothing but radius of Mohr circle which is nothing but radius of Mohr circle now with Mohr circle also we can solve this question we will see with Mohr circle also don't worry right therefore put the values tau max maximum shear stress is equal to under root of sigma x is nothing but 100 sigma y is 20 you have a 2 whole square plus tau xy is nothing but 30 square is nothing but equal to under root of 40 square plus 30 square which is nothing but 50 this is nothing but 50 MPA right with analytical way you have calculated as 50 MPA now with the graphical also you can solve this numerical with the graphical also you can solve this numerical for graphical way we have to draw more circle we have to draw more circle now with the help of more circle we will try to solve this question with the help of more circle we will try to solve this question answer is 50 MPA right now while drawing more circle, while drawing more circle, what we have to do? Normal stresses are taken on y axis, x axis, sorry, and shear stresses on y axis. Positive shear stresses upward, negative shear stresses downward. That is, positive shear stress means clockwise shear, negative shear stress means anti clockwise shear. And on x axis, horizontal axis, we have to consider normal stresses. Positive normal stresses, that is, tensile stresses on positive x axis, and compressive normal stresses, that is, negative normal stresses on negative x axis. O is the center of graph that is O is the origin now from O to A we have to plot sigma x now right therefore O to A sigma x is nothing but 100 MPA 100 MPA therefore plot point A such that O to A distance is 100 MPA 100 MPA now from O to B we have to plot sigma y which is nothing but 20 MPA therefore from O to B plot point B which is at which is at 20 MPA. Now from A, from A, we have to go tau xy magnitude downward. From A, we have to go tau xy magnitude downward. Therefore, we will get C point. That is A to C is minus 30 MPA. Minus 30 MPA. Now from B, we have to go tau xy magnitude upward. From B, we have to go tau xy magnitude upward. Therefore, B to D, B to D is plus 30 MPA. That is tau xy, tau xy, tau xy. Right. Now join C D. Join C to D. If I join C to D, the line C D will cut normal stress axis at point E. That is at point E. Now with E as a center and E to D as a radius. With E as a center and E to D as a radius or E to C as a radius, draw one circle. Now the circle will look like this. Therefore, circle will look like this. If I draw one circle, I will get circle like this. And this circle is called Mohr circle. This circle is called Mohr circle. Now, the radius of this circle is called maximum shear stress. The radius of this circle is called maximum shear stress. See here, the radius of this circle, the radius of this circle is maximum shear stress. Now, again, the radius, can I say, the radius of this circle, can I say, is nothing but E to D. Radius is nothing but E to D. Therefore, we have to find E to D distance. Therefore, can I say this ED is equal to 
from triangle look at the triangle triangle d b e is right angle triangle d b e is right angle triangle and e d is a hypotenuse therefore e d is equal to under root of under root of b e square plus b d square this is how we can write therefore this e d is nothing but tau max that is radius of more circle which is nothing but tau max is equal to can i write b e can i write b e as this b e can i write as o to a this b i can write like o to a minus o to b divided by 2 whole square right plus plus bd is bd square bd square this is how can i write i can write right see be be is a half of ab the same is written here therefore put the values now we have to put the values over here now see here i am writing the same formula here i am writing the same formula that is tau max or radius is equal to under root of under root of o to a is sigma x o to a is sigma x o to b is sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus bd is tau x y whole square and already we have solved for this already we have solved for this which i we got answer as a 50 mpa we got answer as a 50 mpa therefore 50 mpa is the answer for given question thank you dear students in next lecture we will start theories of failure